So today we're going to be making huge stacks of money by building some houses. One singular brick at a time. But once the house is complete, then we get some money. $13. And we can use that money to hire some builders. So this will place one brick every 10 seconds. Lovely. It looks like I'm going to be doing most of the work myself for a while. But when we upgrade the blueprint again, then he lays more bricks in that time. We just got to give him a nice amount of money to do that. There, and then he completed the house. Still $13 though. But at least we can get those $13 quicker if we hire more workers. This lays down a brick every 9 seconds. And if we upgrade the blueprint to 5 bricks per second, then it should complete an entire row on his own. And that works out pretty well for us because now we have $500, which we can use to upgrade the house size. So it's a little bit bigger, and the bigger the house, the more money we get. Now we're earning $26. $6. But that also means these houses take longer to build. So we'll upgrade the blueprint and other things some more. So now we have the blueprint upgraded enough where it's laying down 10 bricks every 10 seconds. That's a good rate. It finished the entire row by itself. And now the blueprint is upgraded so much that it's cheaper to upgrade the hammer next. So we'll make sure we do that. And now we're at this point where we're trading back and forth between upgrading the blueprint and the hammer. And it is taking a while now to get the money needed to upgrade these tools. So we'll just go ahead and give ourselves a boost. So now we have a minute to do as much as we can because our brick lane ability as well as the money we get for that is increased. I would like to get the hammer leveled up more because it takes less time for it to do its job. Only a second, but a second is quite a bit of time when I'm clicking like six times a second. And what's nice is it also increases the amount of money we get for completing these houses. And there's the end of the bonus, but we can get our hammer up to eight bricks every nine seconds. That seemed to work out well for us, so let's just boost again. And now the hammer costs over a thousand dollars to upgrade it again. Thankfully, with this boost, we can get a thousand dollars pretty quickly but I think instead of the hammer I'm going to give ourselves extra money per brick so now we're earning two dollars for every brick and we're actually close enough to a thousand that we could probably get that upgrade again. So now we're earning three dollars for every brick. Now we can start to get money faster. It also looks like they made the reward for the house go up too. We can make it go up even more if we increase the house size. So it's four blocks. Now it's starting to look like a tiny studio apartment. A lot more than the last house, that was more like a shed. And the more money per brick that we earn, the lot sooner we can get these upgrades. So now we're earning $200 for every house. That's really helpful. And now we can get the blueprint upgraded to 20 bricks every 10 seconds. And now it's actually cheaper to get the next tool, which is a drone. Wow, big step up from a hammer to a drone. Laying a brick every eight seconds. Let's just go ahead and increase our money gains to $5 every brick. And we can get the hammer to 10 bricks every nine seconds. And now we have $2,000, so we can actually afford to lay down two bricks every click. Now this is really speeding up the house production. And with a few more increases to the money, bringing it up to $10 every brick, we're earning over $500 for a complete house. That's gonna be really good. Especially now that we can lay three bricks at a time. That means that we can upgrade some of these guys a little more, like the drone, because we're actually getting the money to upgrade these things pretty quickly now. So now the drone can put down 10 bricks every eight seconds. Things are starting to look good. Let's get the house size increase even more. It's six blocks. Ooh, and now we're starting to see some trim on the house. And we earned $700 for a complete one. And we can afford the next tool, an actual builder, laying a brick every seven seconds. But he is expensive. Ooh, and we're actually starting to see some different layouts for the houses too. This one has no windows. Let's go ahead and get some more money per brick. And again, because we can afford that already. And then if we upgrade it one more time, we should see a profit of, yeah, $1,000 per house. Very nice. Let's have that happen a few more times by getting the bricks up to five per click. Now we're really blazing through this. And we can blaze through it more by giving the blueprint as many upgrades as we can because that has the most bricks per thing at this point. 25 bricks every 10 seconds seems like a good place to be. And now the hammer can put down 20 bricks in its time. And now the money per brick rate is $15. This seems like a good time to increase the house size yet again to, ooh, nine blocks now. Should we upgrade again right away? Might as well. 12, 16, 20 blocks. Wow, now this is looking like a proper apartment complex. I wonder what the reward is for a full house. It is three, almost $4,000. Nice! That lets us get to the next upgrade builder thing, a mixer. I don't know how the mixer can do things unless it's that one friend of Bob the Builder. But that's a brick every six seconds. That's starting to get pretty quick. And we should probably give the builder some upgrades as well. It's a real wonder my mouse hasn't broken from how many clicks I've had to do in these games. And the good news is now our money per brick is at $20, which puts a completed house over $5,000. 
That's amazing. And the blueprint is still only $3,000 to upgrade it. Let's get that up a little more. 30 bricks every 10 seconds. I like the looks of that. And we can also increase the bricks per click as well. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like after a boost. This is looking pretty good here. Earning $40 per brick. This is enough money to buy the next thing, a robotic arm, which is every five seconds. Just got to keep going through this as quickly as I can. We're earning $10,000 for each of these houses. Ooh, I love it. And now the bonus is complete, which still leaves us with $66,000 in our pocket. So we can upgrade the bricks per click again. And then to upgrade any more, we need $100,000. That's crazy. But you know we are earning a lot of money for these because it does amount to $180 for every click. And oh, <laughs> I can drag the icons around. That's kind of weird. But now we're putting down 10 bricks every click, which amounts to $200 per click. So let's just get ourselves up to $100,000 again and see how many upgrades we can get to the money per brick. Three. We can get exactly three. Well, $23 is better than $20, although $25 is a lot nicer number. Now with $100,000, I want to see how many house sizes increases we can get. This is probably going to be painful because it just means it takes longer to build these things. But wow, that can get big. 81 blocks? That's crazy. Gonna need a boost just to get through this. So a full one of these houses that gets completed is $51,000. I mean, sure, that's after the boost, but that's still a lot of money. I'll take it. But let's just use it to increase the money per brick right away. That seems like a good return on investment. So that got our money rate up to $30 per brick. And we can upgrade the robotic arm again. And when I stop clicking, the building rate slows way down. So a normal one of these that gets complete is worth $30,000. That's still pretty good. It lets us get the next tool. A printer, straight up printing houses. This sounds familiar. It's just a shame that those take so much to upgrade next. And there's so many bricks in this house now, I'm not even sure it's worth it. Because with all this money, I could put it just straight into the blueprint and get that upgraded almost 10 times. And I must say, whoever designed these windows must have a very interesting taste. Must have been an engineer. Or at least an engineer's idea of an architect. Now I'm hoping if I upgrade the house size again, it'll be 100 blocks. Oh, it's 90? It's honestly still surprising how much cheaper it is to upgrade the money per brick as opposed to how many bricks are laid per click. So I think what I'll do is activate another boost and then see how many of these we can get through that we can immediately put back into how much money we make. Upgrading it as soon as we can because that'll give us more money. So now we're getting $350 per click and I didn't realize we were getting $40,000 for each of these houses now. That's really good. And it's still pretty cheap to upgrade the builder. So let's go ahead and give him a raise. And with $400,000, let's see how many upgrades we can get to the hammer because that's really cheap. Were you able to get 16 upgrades? Pretty good. The more bricks we can lay down, the better. And I have an idea for laying down a lot of bricks at once. It involves this boost and this auto clicker. And then we activate it and let it rip. Now the building is completing really quick. Ooh, I like this. After the boost, the houses are giving us $79,000. Pretty good. And now we have over a million in our pocket. Just gonna let this go as long as it can. And it already slows down way much without the boost, even with the auto clicker still going. But we got close to $5 million there, which is funny enough how much we need to see the last tool here. Honestly, we can skip these two for right now just to see what this is. <laughs> it's a UFO, just like the pyramids, laying down one brick every second. Now let's go ahead and upgrade the house size once more. Now we are at 100 blocks. And I will say, even without the boost going, the auto clicker still builds these really fast. Ooh, but we can get it again. So we can go through this to see what the last of the tools are that we needed. One of them was a crane, which isn't nearly as exciting as a UFO, but I wonder which one costs 1.9 million. Well, we'll find out pretty soon. We're earning 88,000 for each of these houses. And it is a robot. Instead of a robotic arm, just a full on robot. Neat. And with a million dollars, we can get the money per brick amount upgraded a few times. Just got to keep that going as well as we can. So we get $40 every brick. And then when the house is completed at the end of that, we're getting $50,000. So I think we found ourselves a pretty good way to keep building houses and earn lots of money. Just getting automation to do it for us, even if the automation isn't in the game. But I do hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, then be sure to let me know and sub to intern. And thanks to channel members including Brad, Mr. Grupo One, Ancient Elixir One, Kobe Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffet Suffer, Lucas S, Flyer Sex, a real nickname, Edward, Hippo Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalongs, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, Minor Thin, Levi Fox, Degarity, and Sands.